So here I'm in, in Clipper. Uh, I want to show you the Z tilt. So I will tilt it this side more. So much like that. Okay, so you can see it's tilted in this in this side like this. It's because I have the, uh, the bed is just sitting on these bolts. So basically it just sits on these that are floating, they're not connected. I have these just as, I don't know, it's just temporary, everything can move, see? And the bed can go a lot like in one side, see? I can tilt, really tilt it. Okay, so I'll leave, I'll leave it for the presentation super tilted like this. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna first homo axis. So there goes X, now comes the Y and the Z. Okay, so now we have Oh, sorry, I pressed it again. It will only do that, that anyway. And now I'm gonna use this tilt. And see what it does. I think the gap is too big and it might give an error. Yes, no trigger because I only have five millimeters here. Let's reduce a bit the. I have to disconnect the motor source. Okay, so now it's still tilted as you can see, but not that much. So let's quickly go to homolaxis oh shit that's too much okay I think that's gonna work now so let's do the Z tilt Watch this. <laughs> it tilted even more. <laughs> I wanted to show you this. That's why I started to film. Okay, so I will stop and it says. points range is increasing so instead of uh, straighten it it goes like this so what you do in this case you just uh, go here and reverse your Z motors so let me quickly do it now I'm gonna disconnect all power Yeah, I push too hard because I'm doing it with one hand. No worries. Okay, let's power this. Connect. Go here and restart. Okay, let's quickly go to calibrate. I think I'm gonna need to straight straighten this a bit. I think it's too late now. Yeah, it's uh, the angle is too big, so I'll disconnect the motors for a second. Uh, okay, and let's straighten it a bit. Uh, 
I want to still leave it so you see it's, it's bent like this and now so x, x y it's already here it's just doing the z fast and now we're gonna do the proper tilt now I hope it's not too big see it adjusted it, it lowered this one a bit see lowered again this one also a bit here so let me show you the log here what he is doing so it's reading this point see he's trying to bring them closer so last time it was oh, come on let's keep scrolling So this should get close. It lowered this one a bit. You should increase this one a bit. Yes, it increased it from five to seven. I think it will lower this again. Yes, to ten from eleven. And this should be go like eight or nine. Nine. And the tolerance of zero point zero two it's reached between these two can put even more if you are okay so let me show you quickly now let's go to machine configuration okay so I have steppers nothing special here okay the Z maybe here it starts to get a bit interesting we have the first Z stepper where we have the minimum position then um, the TCM for the stepper nothing special here then you have stepper Z1 exactly the same as for the Z1 for the first Z here see so we have direction step enable micro steps uh, rotation distance this is it for the screw and the stop is just the probe and then we have minimum maximum position and for Z the same except for the last two ones step for Z nothing special and then for Z tilt we have the you need, you need to give it the position my positions are uh, so this is the X this is the Y uh, I'm just putting it uh, close to where the screw is this point and the maximum this point actually I have to adjust because I so it's uh, 0 and 140 and 160 with 140 the points are exactly the same as these ones retries how many times you want you want to do like this until it finds and the tolerance how close the two points should be okay this is about how to configure clipper with tilt so in case it just goes the other way and it gets worse you just need to reverse the motors hope it helps enjoy keep on improving your 3d printers